So here's the question. I'm going to make you the guy in charge of track and field. So you're going to be the Sebco for a week, okay? And you've decided that you are going to revolutionize how it's being shown on TV. What are the three things you would do to change track and field coverage? Ooh, track and field coverage on its own and track and field as a whole, I think, is two different conversations. But the track and field coverage for me, it's the style that I bring. I would encourage that style from, from other analysts. Don't be afraid to go out on a limb and know what the nickname for that athlete is. And you can utilize that nickname. It helps tell the story for that athlete. Yeah. The, the race of the hundred is like the crown jewel of track and field, right? Who's the fast and who's the fastest woman in the world? I would always put that race last. Always last in the broadcast. Make everyone wait to watch that and tell the story of each sprinter in the race throughout the broadcast. That's going to make the fan get to know that athlete more and have more buy-in. Right now, track and field is so closely tied to times that the athletes don't don't quite get the recognition that they deserve. Right? If I get uh, Shelly Ann Frazier, Shakari Richardson, Sharika uh, Jackson, uh, Marie-Jo uh, Talou that just ran today, ran a world lead 1075. If I get all them in a race and they don't run 1070, or they don't run 10-9, sometimes in the track community, we look at that and we say, oh, that was a bad race. But it wasn't a bad race. It was the fact that they raced each other that we need to lean more into. And I promise you, if you get the best, facing the best, and you're telling their stories the right way, the fan will no longer care about the time. They'll care about the athlete. And I think that's where it comes from. And they'll run fast times, don't get me wrong. But that's how I would change make slight tweaks to the broadcast, focus on the athlete's story, less on the time, focus on putting that hundred at the end of the track meet, allow the broadcasters to be themselves, speak to their own experiences, praise these athletes. And the number one thing that I think right now in track broadcast uh, happens is we expect someone to win, right? In any individual race. So if Sidney McLaughlin's running the open four, but you've got Paulino also in that race, and Sidney doesn't win, a lot of times the broadcast shifts to a focus on why Sidney didn't win. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to why did Paulino win and what did she do throughout the race to get that victory? And during NCAAs, there was a massive upset in the 400 hurdles when yeah. everyone was up. Wilson was going to win, but yeah. uh, Savannah Sutherland from Michigan ended up winning that race. And I made it a point to talk about Savannah Sutherland from Michigan and not talk about Britton Wilson for the entire duration of the breakdown of the race. I think that's important because Sutherland's story is important to tell just as much as Britton Wilson's is. And it's our job as broadcasters to capture that in the moment so that we don't become negative and we don't harp on failure, but we can prop up success. That would be my opinion.